Number one then, the first question in paper two of the 2019 Higher Maths. There we go, look, eight marks and it's the lines in a triangle and it's all there. Find the equation of one type of line, find the equation of another type of line and find where they intersect. Well, first of all, part A. Find the equation of the median BD. Well, it tells you it's a median, so it must go to the midpoint. So that means you can find the coordinates of this point D. And it's even got a name, so you don't have to write down something like midpoint equals. So D will be halfway between A and C. Just keep track of your numbers carefully. Now, you can see that halfway between negative 5 and negative 3 is negative 4, but I'll just put it down anyway. Average of the numbers. Average of the x-coordinates. Average of the y-coordinates. So D is going to be the point, negative 4, naturally. And then that comes to negative 6, so negative 3. That means you can now get the gradient of this line, BD. It'll be the difference in the y-coordinates over the difference in the x-coordinates. y2 minus y1, x2 minus x1. Using B and D though, so get your eye on these two now. Difference in the y-coordinates. Do it in any order you like, I'll do it in this order. Negative 8, take away negative 3, or if you're feeling brave, plus 11, take away negative 4. So that's a negative 5 over a 15, which means the gradient of BD is negative, cancel it down, a third. Now there's nothing special about this line, you don't know where it cuts the y-axis, so you just have to go in with y minus b is mx minus a. y minus the y-coordinate of a point, now you've got two to choose from, but you really just choose the original one. Y minus the y coordinate is the negative 8, is negative a third of x minus the x coordinate, which was 11. Take the 3 across and multiply. Leave the negative in this side, though. There's enough negatives floating about already. So that's actually plus 8, so that'll be 3 times it, plus 24. With that negative staying there, that'll be negative x, and that negative times negative means it'll end up as plus 11. Rearrange it into any order you like. I'm just going to keep it as 3y is negative x. Bring that across as minus 24, so that gives me minus 13. Quite a few wee calculations and numbers to keep your eyes on, so you should really double check what you've done. I'll put a wee note of it over here. That was 3y is negative x minus 13 for future reference. Next part, find the equation of the altitude this time, AE. So if AE is an altitude, it doesn't go to the midpoint, it's an altitude, it's at right angles to it. That would be like the height if BC was on the ground. Well, that means you only know this point A, there's no point trying to figure out E. But you'll be able to get the gradient of this line by referencing the line BC. So get its gradient instead. What's the gradient of BC? That'll be the difference in the y's over the difference in the x's. So it's these two. 6 take away negative 8. Negative 3 take away 11. So that's going to be, that's a 14 over a negative 14. So that means the gradient of BC is equal to negative 1. That looks about right from the diagram. Which immediately means that the gradient of your altitude, AE, won't be the negative of the reciprocal. It needs to, they need to multiply to give a negative 1, making that a 1. Same as before. Nothing special I can see about the line, so I'll just have to go in with a full finder equation. y minus b is mx minus a. It's only point a that I know. So y minus the y-coordinate is the gradient, which was nicely just 1, x minus the x-coordinate, or you could have gone straight in with positives. So y equals x, I might as well put this bit down, plus 5, but that'll be minus 12, so y equals x minus 7. Take a little note of that one, y equals x minus 7.
Now the last part, just for two, what are the coordinates of the point of intersection of BD and DE? This point here. Point of intersection, well, you've got these two equations. Y equals X minus seven, I'll call that one, and three Y equals negative X minus 13, I'll call that two. Now normally I would have just used substitution. I tend to just use substitution all the time if one reads Y equals, but they're ripe for elimination. They're already lining up with each other, the correct sort of terms together, and those have got opposite signs in the same coefficient. So simply doing one plus two will knock out those x's. And you'll have four y equals negative 20. So straight away y is negative five. Knowing that, you can then put y is negative five in this one here. In which case you've got negative five is x minus seven. So x is, take that across, and it becomes plus 7, giving a positive 2. So my point of intersection was 2, negative 5. But, simply leaving it like this will get you the mark, because those, strictly speaking, are the coordinates of the point of intersection. I just like to finish it off.